There was a house full of musical cats who live without a care in the world until a knock on the door changes all forevermore. I will live and take care of this little girl. Timmy the young one wants to stay. He's so short he'll be a cat one day. Look at Kid Tommy sitting on his throne, pretending that he knows just what's going on. Thought so cool and the shop was attacked. She stole by his fool. You better watch your back. Human behaviour was an endless mystery to the cats, especially when it came to the habits of children. Every Monday to Friday, a bus appeared and took the cat's unpleasant little neighbour Stanley away for the day. <laughs> and returned him again just before dinner time. <laughs> I believe he's going to a place called school. School? What school? A place where big humans give little humans something called education. How many times do they have to give them this education thing? It, it, it seems to be taking forever. Oh, no, 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 no. Education is not a thing. It's knowledge that sets you up for life. It teaches you how to operate in the world. Do cats need education? Ah, oh, Timmy Tom, unlike humans, us cats have no need for education because we have been born with something called instinct. That means we are pre-programmed to know what we are doing. But what about Kitty? Kitty's not a cat. Doesn't she need to be given an education? Meow? Ah, yes, good point, Petal. Oh, no, I don't want Kitty to go away on a bus every day. None of us do, Timmy. <laughs> But she does not have to. I have everything we need to give her a human education right here at home. <gasps> but doesn't it take years and years? Well, the way humans teach it does, but we are cats. With my superior knowledge and scholastic abilities, I'm confident that what takes human teachers 12 years to pull off, we can achieve in, uh, uh, what's the time, Ming? 8.30 a.m. Six hours. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, six hours. Ming, assemble the teaching staff. Okay, it appears I have been appointed vice principal of this ridiculous exercise. Please follow the curriculum and hopefully no one will get hurt. Any questions? Yeah, when's recess? Get back in your hole. It's not a hole. It's a non-competitive, all-inclusive, learning-based environment. Enough. Kitty's classes shall begin when I ring this bell. And remember, everyone, as your principal, I shall be supervising. First up, math. Math can be applied to solve any life puzzle, as long as it's square enough. Take this cube, for example. That's an interesting technique, Kitty. Oh, wow, that's perfect. I'm afraid not. The object of the exercise is to mix the colours up, which, as you can see, I have done perfectly here. Meow? Oh. Next, chemistry. Humans find chemistry difficult, but not so us cats. Why? Because we cats get rid of all the formula-type stuff that makes it difficult and go straight to mixing stuff up to see if it explodes. Absorb. Mm. <laughs> huh? Oh, sorry, kitty. <sighs> Well, what do you know, Kitty? You just passed chemistry. Excellent work.
Ming had now decided to take Kitty's schooling out of the house. Next, feel the trip. Now the city dump has a rich history. In fact, archaeological digs have found fossils as much as twenty hours old. This was a tuna fish. How did it swim here? Was this place originally submerged in ocean before sea levels dropped, or was it from someone's dinner last week? No, Kitty. We'll never know. Listen to the master. Next, physics. Physics is the scientific study of like nature and the properties of like matter and like energy. It kind of like explains how the universe works, man.、Uh, Kitty. No, 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 Ginsburg, you've got this the wrong way round. Physics is all about climbing ropes, <laughs> running around tracks, <laughs> and attacking each other with towels in a locked room. Uh, Katie, I think you might be confusing it with like physical education. I can assure you there is no confusion on my part. Complimentary pass. Your teacher is obviously not qualified. Yeah. Lunch break. Wow. So we just push our tray along and they fill it with food. Oh, sweet. Huh? <laughs> yeah. What is that, Pierre? It is what the big humans feed the little humans. Yes. <laughs> Ming, we have to keep an eye on the time. We still have six years of schooling to fit in this afternoon. Ah. Ah. Next workshop. Phew! Safe by the bell. Now, Kitty, what we see here is a disassembled car engine. The challenge is to get it going again. Olive, Stanley, have you seen my car keys? Well, that makes zero sense, but you did get it going.、Um, pass, I think. Not only that, but I insist Kitty bill you for the work. Ow!、Oh. Art class. Ming, we are running out of time. It's okay. I can combine the classes: art class and biology. Um, this is a painting by the Renaissance artist Botticelli, which we have recreated over here with Happy. <laughs> My idea was to paint this, but I'm not sure how that will work with Spook's biology class. Never do I. Your principal has got this Spook. The most important thing in biology for humans to know is how they arrived on this Earth. Clearly, they came out of giant clams, and this photographic evidence proves it. It's a painting. Well, which was the equivalent of a photograph before cameras were invented. I rest my case. Final exam.、Uh, yes, but before we do that, Ming, I think we need to find out what Kitty has learned so far. Yes, if only there was some kind of written test that asks a series of questions to be completed in a limited amount of time that shows what a student has learned from their education. But what? A final exam? Well, if you can't think of anything else, Ming, which clearly you can't, then that will have to do. Uh, what is this? It's the desk. Oh, and、uh, what does it do? Well, small humans use the bottom to store their chewing gum and the top to draw on. But I noticed that it's the perfect size for your exam paper too. Exam? Wait,、uh, teachers don't need to do the exam, though, right? Uh, of course. I mean, how else would we standardize the results? I mean, we have to have something to compare Kitty's results with to see if she's passed. <laughs> It must mean school's over. And pens down. Exams shall be graded by our qualified board of examiners. <laughs> And results announced at graduation. Congratulations to you all on making it to your graduation ceremony.、Yeah! Bad news is no cats pass the exam.、Yeah. Oh. But good news is one member of the household did. Kitty. Please come and receive your diploma. 
kudos on being the first student to graduate the school for cats and with flying colors. Kitty, I knew you'd pass. I've got a gift for you. <gasps> so even if you're not here, we'll always be together. You should be very proud. Although I'm not sure how much weight humans put on an education provided by the crazy cats in this joint, you may want to get a different certificate one day. But rest assured, you are one clever kid. Meow! Oh, a cat. One day, Kitty would also take the bus and leave her friends at home. But she wasn't worried. The cats cared about her so much, it taught her a valuable lesson. And she couldn't wait to share that lesson with the new friends she would one day make at school.